Let Us Now Praise Famous Men by James Agee is a seminal work of literary journalism that explores the lives of impoverished sharecropper families during the Great Depression in the American South. Published in 1941, the book combines Agee's evocative prose with Walker Evans Stark and haunting photographs to create a powerful and deeply moving portrayal of the human condition. This literary analysis will delve into several key aspects of the book, including its narrative structure, style, themes, and its lasting impact on journalism and literature. Agee's narrative structure in Let Us Now Praise Famous Men is unconventional and experimental. The book does not follow a traditional linear plot but is instead a series of interconnected essays, reflections, and observations. A.G. immerses the reader in the daily lives of three sharecropper families, the Gudgers, the Woods, and the Ricketts, providing an intimate and unfiltered view of their struggles, hopes, and despair. This fragmented structure allows A.G. to convey the fragmented reality of their lives and creates a sense of immediacy, as if the reader is witnessing these events in real time. Agee's writing style is characterized by its lyrical and poetic quality. He employs rich, descriptive language to paint vivid portraits of the people and places he encounters. His prose is both intimate and contemplative, as he delves into the inner thoughts and emotions of his subjects. For example, when describing an elderly woman, Agee writes, she has been pregnant every year of her life since she was fifteen years old and has borne ten children, eight of them living. Her hands are gentle, her voice is slow and full and wave-like, and she moves with a certain soft heaviness. There is a tenderness in the fingers which touch her children. One of the central themes of the book is the dehumanizing impact of poverty and social inequality. A.G. exposes the harsh realities of life for sharecroppers, who are trapped in a cycle of poverty and exploitation. He vividly portrays their backbreaking labor, substandard living conditions, and the constant threat of eviction. Through his writing, A.G. forces the reader to confront the moral and ethical implications of this injustice, making it impossible to turn a blind eye to the suffering of these families. Another theme that permeates the book is the complexity of human relationships. A.G. delves into the dynamics within the families he observes, revealing both the love and tension that exists among family members. He also explores the relationship between the observer, himself, and the observed, the sharecroppers. A.G. grapples with his own guilt and complicity as an outsider who is intruding into the lives of these families. This self-reflection adds depth and nuance to the narrative, blurring the lines between journalism and personal memoir. Let Us Now Praise Famous Men also raises questions about the role of the artist and the responsibility of the writer. A.G.'s project is not just a work of journalism it is a moral and artistic endeavor. He seeks to bear witness to the suffering of others and to challenge societal indifference. In doing so, he grapples with the limitations of language and representation, recognizing the inherent inadequacy of words and images to capture the full depth of human experience. The lasting impact of Let Us Now Praise Famous Men on journalism and literature cannot be overstated. It is often regarded as a pioneering work of literary journalism, pushing the boundaries of what non-fiction writing can achieve. Agee's willingness to embrace ambiguity and complexity in his storytelling has influenced generations of writers and journalists who seek to capture the human experience in all its raw and unfiltered glory. In conclusion, Let Us Now Praise Famous Men by James Agee is a literary masterpiece that combines evocative prose and haunting photography to explore the lives of sharecropper families during the Great Depression. Through its unconventional narrative structure, poetic style, and exploration of themes such as poverty, human relationships, and the role of the artist, 
the book continues to resonate with readers and writers alike. Agee's work remains the powerful testament to the enduring power of literature to bear witness to the human condition and challenge the status quo.